and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for some Grixis Flash Control. That's right, we have a new donation deck to play here that is basically Grixis Control here that we're trying to play on our opponent's turn thanks to Leyline of Anticipation. The blue Leyline is a card that I haven't played with at all yet. Um, I mean, actually, I guess it's not true. I've played with it before when it was in standard, but not with, not since it's been reprinted here in M20. So all of our cards can be cast as though they had flash whenever we have a ley line of anticipation on the battlefield. So that allows us to do is to play discard spells like duress, thought erasure, and this one here, toll of the invasion. We can play these cards and disinformation campaign, another discard spell. We can play these during our opponent's draw step. So you know, like, we get to the late game, our opponent's top decking, they draw their card, and before they get to play that card, you know, we can flash in disinformation campaign, make them discard it. It's pretty mean. It's pretty mean. <laughs> but that's what we're going to be trying to do. Same thing with Nickel Bulls, the Ravager, I suppose. Uh, make them discard during draw step. We can do that as well. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing here with this deck. Um... I'm surprised we don't have any like removal at two mana. I think I would I would prefer that instead of the Toll of Invasions, but you know we're gonna play the deck here and see see how it goes uh, with it there. Um, but I I'm worried about like with vampires being so popular and everything. I'm worried about not actually having any ways to kill anything for two mana here. But besides that, it looks like whenever the game gets longer, if we stay you know if we do stabilize and get into a longer game. Um, Doing this this kind of stuff in draw step with Leyline lay line of anticipation is going to be pretty sweet. So that's what we got here. As you can tell, we got a lot of stuff for um, a lot of stuff for Scape Shift, which is good. Legion Zen, Cry of the Carnarium, both those are pretty good against Scape Shift. So is Blood Sun. So is Ashiok. So is Crafty Cup Purse. So lots of those vampires. We got Legion Zen and Cry of the Carnarium and Contempt um, and End of the God Eternals. Those are all good against vampires. So I like how all of our sideboard cards are either good against vampires or escape shift. And, you know, they can be used for other things also. Um, but yeah, that's what we have. Um, yeah, some counter, I guess, yeah, some counter spells wouldn't be so bad since we can always hold up mana. But, um, yeah, Grixis Flash Control. I do kind of like how like, if we think about our Planeswalkers, like, usually, like, think about Nicol Bolas Dragon God. Usually, you don't want to play your Planeswalker on your opponent's turn, because then you don't get to activate it. Because you can't activate your your Planeswalkers at instant speed still. However, what you can do is, like, play your, your Nicol Bolas Dragon God on your opponent's end step and untap. And then you have your, your activation, plus you have all of your mana, where you can use all of your mana to help protect your Planeswalkers as well. Um, so, that's something that's, that's kind of cool that you can do there. Uh, to, to help make sure that your Planeswalker is not getting killed. Uh, against Control, what do we have in our sideboard? Ashiok. Um, yeah, looks like just Ashiok. But to be fair, our our this main deck is built to beat Control. Like, that's what all... Like, with all these discard spells, really all we want to face is Control. Uh, I think that we're going to... With, with how this deck is look, looking right now, I think we're going to struggle against Aggro. Um, we you know with, without having any two mana removal, but against control, we're going to be awesome with campaigns and toll of the invasion and duress in the main. Like we're going to be really good against control. How does leyline work against three mana Teferi? So three mana Teferi says your opponents can only cast stuff at instance or sorry at sorcery speed. So that means you can only cast stuff at sorcery speed. So leyline of anticipation doesn't do anything whenever there's a Teferi in play. So the Cards that say you cannot do something trump cards that say that you can do something. Cannot is more powerful. Because it has the, the not in there. Alright, so let's uh, let's go ahead and give us a try. So with all of our donation decks, we take them on over to the traditional constructed queue. So I need to move the star. We're now playing Grixis Flash Control. Yeah, it certainly doesn't hurt to have an anti scape shift card in the main deck, um, which we kind of have here with like Flame Sweep and Ritual of Soot. Like those are kind of anti 
uh, scape shift plus all of our discard. But it doesn't doesn't hurt. I don't think we need to mull too hard for Leyline. I think it's just like, you know, we got Leyline, that's cool. If we don't, that's cool. It's like our I don't think it's like our deck doesn't work if we don't have Leyline. Our curve is really high too, with only 25 lands. So this this is another thing that can be a problem. But we, we are playing four discoveries, so the, the discoveries really help. Alright, definitely want this this land here. Do we want Do I want to draw a discovery next turn? So basically, I'm going to take the Drowned Catacomb here. Yeah, actually, let's let's keep the Discovery, because we're just going to play the... Yeah, let's just keep that, because we're just going to play the Ritual of Soot, and then we'll have... We'll be able to get the next card down, or if it's a red source, we can go Bolus. Uh, we can play either Bolus, if it's not. This thing costs four. It's a bummer. I don't... What is this card? Well, let me look at it. Two, four, whenever it attacks, it gets plus one, plus zero for other elementals. Cool. Oh, it includes itself. It just attacks as a 3-4. Not other elementals. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Your existence is pointless. Oh, that card dominates draft. Ooh, I am I am glad for that. I'm at six. I will take that lightning strike over there to the dragon god. Okay, Deadpool, X Men, and Fantastic Four are now all under control of the MCU officially. Honestly, I thought I thought Deadpool already was. I knew X Men wasn't, and Fantastic Four. I knew those weren't, but I I thought Deadpool was. But I guess I was wrong. Alright, anti aggro. Cry. Legion's end. Enter the God Eternals. Contempt. Let's cut Toll of the Invasion. Disinformation campaign. Um Kinda think we actually just cut Leyline of Anticipation. It's just not really that important for us to play instant speed stuff in this matchup. Uh do I do I want any... Alright, so now do I want any of these over Duress? Would I rather play Disinformation Campaign instead of Duress? Maybe. Maybe I still play Campaign. Campaign does help us hit land drops. And everything. We'll do that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're playing an, an Elemental Aggro, is what our opponent's doing. Elemental Aggro. Disney bought Fox? Gosh, does Disney own everything now? Oh, 
Like, isn't every single company just one company at this point? Doesn't it just all go back to, like, Disney? Doesn't Disney just own everything? Pretty sure Disney owns everything. Hey, Morgan. Disney doesn't own Warner Bros. yet? Hmm. I get rid of one of these lands. Yeah, I think on the play I'd get rid of the Dragon God, but on the draw I'm gonna try getting rid of a land. Uh, instant regret. <laughs> if we would get rid of Dragon God, we'd only draw lands. If we get rid of a land, we're gonna only draw spells. That's just how it works. So I can... Kill that thing. Sure. Yeah, I always regret getting rid of the land whenever I do. Yeah, Disney owns Hulu and ESPN and all that kind of stuff. That's why when you were saying, like, the... No, just somebody just did the deck command a little bit before you, WQ. It takes time to cool down. It doesn't just spam every time somebody does exclamation point deck. Anyone need a fire started? No. Too bad. So I would be trading the Ravager with the Spitfire. I'd be fine with that trade. Um, if, you know, they have a spell here. Hey, uh, like, I'm definitely blocking it. Guys are great. No, just... No, Lightning Strike me. It turns a creature into a 4-3. Could have dealt me 3 damage. I know, poor opponent. You're toast. <laughs> Money is just store credit to buy stuff anyway. Nickel Ball's Dragon God is such a mean card. It really is. To just exile your own lands. You just reduces your battlefield into oblivion. Yep, getting rid of the land worked out just fine. We hit our fifth land drop just fine, and so... It worked. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a great card to play, but it is it is just a real it is just really rude. I don't have a tie bar on. Wait, what am I saying? I absolutely have a tie bar on. It's right there. 
Mm. Man, if we just had blue mana. I think I'll keep this anyway. I think we'll... I think we can draw blue mana. On turn one duress? Not really. It's not like there's a spell like this turn they're going to play that I'm going to be like, man, I wish I duress that spell. Give them a, another draw step or two so we have some more choices. Perfect. History of Benalia, Elder Spell, Wrath of God. Kaya's Wrath, whatever, same thing. It's the Wrath of God of the format. Um, we got History Benalia covered. <laughs> yeah, that is a strange looking hand there. They kept this card on top. They definitely like that card. So we'll see what it is. And Narset. Uh, I do want that. Hmm. Okay, so let's say I don't. Let's say they play History next turn. Then I would only sit away one token before playing Dragon God. So yeah, we'll just we'll just get rid of this thing. Even though I may I may regret that. May regret not dressing this turn to look for, like, see if they have, like, some answer to the Dragon God. It's like if it just gets, like, I don't know, countered randomly or something. They drew another Elder the Spell. The of the multiverse will bend to my will. Conceivable. My schemes are never ending. I think. Let's slow this. No, down. Teferi's not. Like, untapping two lands is not better than making your opponent exile a card from their hand or a permanent they control. The things that make Teferi better, the tuck, the tuck ability. Like, the Dragon God's plus one ability is certainly better. Slow down. But the tuck ability is better than than the other minus and and then just being in you know easier to cast but then also being in a color combination that ooh, I do want that being a color combination that has answers to everything also helps as well but as far as the plus one ability that edge goes to Nicol Bolas. No time for a break. So I think Nicol Bolas is better plus one, Teferi's better minus three. And then Teferi also easier to cast. Wait a minute. This isn't gonna work. I should have ditched this so I could have played the Dragon God. I was gonna I was thinking like dispersal. Was uncalled hmm. for. Still going to do that. Perfect. Okay, it worked out. Now my dragon god doesn't get countered. Keep up the pace. Playing Grixis Midrange of Diamond. You went six five six and one yesterday. Awesome. You did switch Thief for War Boss though. Okay. Have you been real happy with War Boss there? Alright, so depending on what this card is, we could be ahead. Let us untap. 
No. I will return one day. Good draw. Well, the next best thing to drawing a land is drawing a land, you know, would have let us flip Ravager and get back Dragon God, but that's the next best thing. My schemes have been foiled. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. The Grixis deck's pretty good whenever you're both top decking and you just start top decking Nickel Boluses. The Grixis deck's pretty good at that point. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Doubtful. Reverse! <laughs> What? <laughs> Just because of like thought erasure. One again. Your defiance is infuriate witness a moat of my power. Just because of like thought erasure, I'll display that instead of flipping the Ravager. No, should have flipped the Ravager. I don't know why they're not getting rid of Othakaya, to be honest. Are you kidding me? We're just gonna man, we're just drawing perfectly. I have other schemes to attend. My intellect is without limit. Sweet. The next turn I was gonna play I was gonna tick up bolus, make them exile to go down to four land. I was gonna play the other bolus, tick up, make them go down to three land. <laughs> That's what this deck is. This deck is mean. Alright, we got Contempt and Ashiok coming on in here. Taking out Flame Sweepers and Ritual of Soot. They do have history banalia that could get us though. Eh, I suppose. Do I, I don't really need these Ashioks. I guess I don't need the Ashioks. I could just keep a couple Flame Sweepers. Or Legion's Ends. Uh, probably Flame Sweep. Mm -hmm. What if I Crafty Cut Purse a History Banalia? I, I don't think they're playing Hero. Saw a couple main deck Kaya's Wraths. Correct. No, yeah, our opponent did not see Leyline. Blood Sun, Crafty Cut Purse, and Ashiok in the sideboard. Isn't that too much? I don't know if you've ever played against the Scape Shift deck, but it's like kind of impossible to win. It's kind of impossible to beat the Scape Shift deck, so you need a lot for it. History Banali is not a card you'd play with Hero, though. Put in cut purse, it's a threat. It can trade with half a history. Or, you know, like surprise attack a Teferi or something. Just you know, it's a it's a two two. Two twos are cool. It would do better than trade with the whole history. It would. It could remove a history. I am not going to sit this one out. <laughs> this is the problem playing the ley lines. I'll protect you. They look pretty embarrassing in the face of Teferi. <laughs> I 
I could board out Leyline of Anticipation. Because it is a card I've that got... doesn't... You know, does nothing against Teferi Time Raveler, of course. It's a card that doesn't trade with another card. Like, whenever we're playing a, a Battle of Attrition here, having a card that doesn't trade for another card isn't good. I really should just board out Leylines for this matchup, because, yeah, once they just play this... Even if they don't bounce Leyline, I, I can't play anything instant speed anyway. I know my responsibility. You need to take a time out. I've got time. I will spare you. In a lot of things you can do. For eternal servitude. This is Defiant hard for my worst defeat. Has consequence. My revenge will be painful. No, I don't think they should ban Teferi. Here we go. I don't like Teferi one bit. My opponent should be doing that during my draw step, but I don't like Teferi one bit. But I don't like banning cards either. I don't like printing cards and having people invest in those cards and um and everything and then just say, hey, now your cardboard is, is worthless, you can't play it anymore. So, while I don't like Teferi, I don't I don't like bans. And I do not think that it needs to be banned. So they should just bounce Oath of Kaya and recast Oath of Kaya to kill Crafty Cut Purse here. That'd be my That'd be my assumption of their their turn. Cut Purse is a 2-2 in this matchup. It's a creature. It can attack. What's its, its purpose? Its, its purpose is to attack. Nothing. Hmm. Excellence binding. Yeah, I need to board out Leyland of Anticipation. This card is horrendous in this matchup. It's it's just a dead card. Like there, <laughs> there's no there's no text on this card. I am not. You know just got boarded out. I'm not done yet. Wait, is, did that actually happen, Anomaly? So that's first step. Got to kill the hero of Dominaria. Mind and body. Should mean I have just the trick for this. That's more like it. I'll do. Okay. one enter the god eternals so 
Uh, we get to be on the play this time, so we get to Thought Erasure first. Ooh, yeah, Thieva Sanity does sound pretty good with, with its Leyline of Anticipation. Well, that destroys our deck. Their ley line is a lot more valuable <laughs> than our ley line. Oh, that's sad. They outlay lined us. Yeah, this ley line does screw up everything. <laughs> Ashiok, of course, targets. We can't do anything with Ashiok, it's just gonna chill there. My prowess is on keep an open mind. Cool. Hone your prowess. I can I can keep their Ascanta from flipping if I mill myself for. Hey, another useless card. And this one's this is not even like Thought Seize. Like Thought Seize is target player, you can target yourself. Thought Erasure is just target opponent. You can't even target yourself. Right on hurry! Yeah, the Leyline on Sanctity is for mono blue and the or sorry, for mono red in the sideboard. We got way out leylined there. Grixis, of course, can't answer enchantments. The the main problem with Grixis. Can't deal with enchantments. Alright, so this time we have Leyline of Anticip Anticipation and Spells. The only other time we've seen Leyline, we didn't have any spells. So let's see how this works here. We really need two mana removal. Well, 
Wow. Well, that's not ideal. Of course, the problem with ley line is sometimes you. The problem with having ley line is that you you'll draw them. I drew them here. All right, what do we have for removal? Would I rather have Toll of the Invasion or Disinformation Campaign? I think Toll of the Invasion. Getting that extra 1 1 to be able to block is nice there. All right, this can work. I think that was not a very good play by me. I think I should just I think I should have discovered there. And go towards flame sweep. Cuz that thing wasn't going to grow. I think it did work. I think it worked out though, because if I if I would have done that, it, it would have actually grown, because the vanguard actually, you know, did grow it. So actually, so while I don't think I, I loved my play at first, I think it actually worked out pretty well for us. That's somebody playing around flame sweep right there. Were the other cards of Vanguard? Wow, it is. Wow, that's lucky. No, it wasn't. Oh, okay, it just looked like it was. It was a Champion of Dusk. Go, Kefnet, go. Spell. 
Darn it. That would have been a clutch time for a spell. Alright, land or spell. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Just kind of debating between like like how to how to uh, do that. Cause like I could have dispersal there. We don't have two mana removal. So we're just dead. Well, I can't, I can't Dispersal, then Cry. That costs three mana to Dispersal, and then three mana to Cry. That costs six mana. I had four. So, yeah, we don't, we don't just don't have the mana. I don't have anything to actually find with Discovery here. There's no two mana spells in the deck. There's just the two of them that we already cast. So they just attack when we die. We we're taking 13. We're at 13. All right, so we went 1 2. Lost to Esper and Vampires, which, you know, Esper and Vampires are very good. We are trying out something different here with this with this donation deck. Um Of course, like honestly, Leyline Anticipation is not very good. It's not. But, you know, we were trying something different. We were trying to play the Leyline and having the instant speed discard for their draw steps. You know, like, we were trying to do something a little different, something kind of cool. Um, but it's it's not the best thing that we can be doing, of course, here. Um this deck really needs two mana removal. You know, like we need more more than two legions ends. We need tyrant scorns, stuff like that. Flame sweep and cry. We have th two flame sweep, three cry of the carnarium. While those are those are okay, as we saw there, it, they're not reliable. The ritual of soots are reliable. We could use more ritual of soots, more reliable removal. Um, because the vampire decks do get pretty big. They do there, but yeah, we need we need more hard removal, like. The problem with, <clears throat> so, you know, like, while, it, while that's really cool to be able to, to discard during draw step, the problem with all of these cards, Duress, Thought Erasure, Toll of the Invasion, Disinformation Campaign, Ley, Ley Line of Anticipation, none of these cards affect the battlefield. And so if you're behind it all, none of those cards are going to help you. But even, like, against decks like Vampires, the green creature decks, basically all the creature decks... We just don't have enough removal in here. That's um, so. If you count that up, that's seven, nine, twelve, fifteen. That's fifteen cards in our deck. Uh, Discovery doesn't really affect the battlefield. Dispersal does, but that's so, so, so expensive. You know, so basically, just you know, half of our deck isn't affecting the battlefield. Um, so it's it's really tough when we play against creatures. Um, that's just how it is. Um, yeah, the, the reason why we struggled against Control, though, 
I mean, Ley Line of Anticipation is a dead card against Teferi, and it, it is kind of, it's not good there. The reason more that we found out that we struggled against Control is that we have, we only have um, three, four, five, six, seven, like between Flame Sweep, Ritual of Soot, and Ley Line, we only have seven cards that aren't good against Control, which isn't much. You know, as far as like a, as far as like another control deck, that's almost all of your deck is good against control. But the problem was is we didn't we don't have seven cards that are good in our sideboard. We have two with the two con contempts, and that's it. Ashiox are okay at best, and so like that's that's kind of the problem is like our deck is really as you can tell our deck is really 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 built to beat Scape Shift. We got everything in the world against Scape Shift. Um, yeah, like the the whole sideboard. <laughs> so we have everything in the in the world. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't add Angrass Rampage. I would have I would have Tyrants like I think basically just kind of playing like a regular Grixis control. I think we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a lot better. Um, it was nice to try something else though. You know, it was nice to try try like a different. Um, you know, diff different angle attack. See if we could do some cool things with like the ley line, um, and instant speed discard. But, but no, uh, playing a, a normalized Grixis control list would have been a lot more effective for us for sure. Um, so there we go. Uh, you know, it's good to learn stuff. It's good to try things out to learn things. So. Um, so sorry the donation deck didn't work out too well there, but thanks for the donation deck there. So that's, uh, Grixis Flash Control. The blue ley, ley line does look really good. I'll give it that. It does have really sweet art. Like, that does look really cool. I'll give it that. It does look really good. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you, um... Learn some stuff and everything there too. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I would appreciate that. But thanks for watching, and I will see you for the next video.